means nearly this entire subdivision uh, burned down by the fire. Just a couple of homes back there left standing. The washer and dryer still smoldering in this home. 500 structures, most of which are homes, have been destroyed. You get up close to some of these, some of these cars, you see the force that it's required to blow some of these windows out, the metal melted, the aluminum melted as well. And you start to imagine just how frightening it must have been when these people got the call that, that they had to just flee their homes in a hurry to get away from these flames. The car fire taking over Redding, California, a wall of flames causing emergency evacuations. Got a, about a 100 foot wall of flame coming down onto the very south end of Snow Lane. And the blaze taking a deadly turn, killing two firefighters. You know, the struggle now is we're, we're, we're mourning as we battle. Three more firefighters and several civilians suffering serious burns. That fire exploding, doubling in size in 24 hours. Now over 48,000 acres burned and only 5% contained. We're gonna need more At least 500 homes and businesses destroyed, and another 5,000 structures remain threatened. Emergency crews aggressively work to contain the blaze, but violent winds, dry brush, and triple digit heat add to the already difficult scene. Those erratic, hot winds creating their own weather, like this fire world, the size and strength of a tornado. The sky filling with flames, jumping the Sacramento River. Please, when you're asked to leave, leave. Leave before you're asked to leave. A hospital having to evacuate its neonatal unit, as well as this shelter after the flames got too close. We just saw people scrambling all over to get out, and they were yelling to get out. Police, you know, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Fires sparking in Southern California, too. The Cranston fire burning more than 11,000 acres, with more than 1,300 firefighters battling that blaze. This morning, officials saying it was deliberately set. And boy, I wish I could tell you that the weather's going to improve, that a cold front with cooler air and rain is going to sweep through California, but that's just not the way it works in this state, not in the in the middle of summer. So the heat's gonna hold on, if not rebuild in some spots. We still have advisories, we still have warnings, and now excessive heat watches have been reposted for the Pacific Northwest as uh, the core of the heat will begin to build back there as we go through tomorrow, Monday, and on Tuesday. As far as uh, the rest of uh, today, we're looking at another day of triple digit heat in Fresno. This will be the 23rd consecutive day. That is a record street of that sort of heat. Uh, and the heat is not really going to relent all that much. If you look at the four-day forecast uh, for Redding, for Riverside, where some of these fires are burning, and Vegas and Phoenix, we're only cooling down by a couple of degrees. So fatigue is a huge issue of concern for these firefighters, some of which have lost their own home while they're battling this blaze. For more on the heartbreak that this community is enduring, let's get to Kana Whitworth. Kana? Yeah, Rob, good morning. This behind me is the home of a Cal Fire firefighter. I spoke with him yesterday. He was out fighting the Ferguson fire and got word. He drove through the night to find this. He has absolutely nothing left. His girlfriend and his dog did make it out OK. But to give you an idea of how hot this fire is, like you see this bed right here, that is actually glass. It's a window that has been melted over it. And when I spoke with this firefighter yesterday, he told me they were remodeling this home. He was doing all of the work himself. Uh, you can see this construction and landscaping equipment totally destroyed here in the front yard. The tires are melted right off of that. And when I spoke with local officials, they said we might see more things like this because so many firefighters live in this area. Overnight, the raging car fire in Northern California on a relentless path of destruction. The inferno decimating homes and devastating families. This is my father-in-law's home. Um, this is the second time it burnt down. The wildfire nearly doubling in size in just 12 hours, forcing thousands to abandon their homes. I just evacuated. I have literally everything that I can think of that's valuable and shoved it in my car as fast as possible. The Red Cross taking in hundreds of displaced residents overnight, bringing the total number of evacuees close to 38,000. We're walking up on a neighborhood right now. This new fire just sparked up. No, it's about losing everything. Some people risking everything to protect their homes. These men using garden hoses to tackle hot spots popping up near the edge of their neighborhood. You noticed it was on fire and you hit it over there, got that out, and now we're hitting it this side. Kimberly Pullen and her family just bought a home in this neighborhood ravaged by flames and tornado like winds. The house that you just bought yesterday? We closed yesterday at 4 o'clock. All smiles after finding their home still standing. Others not so lucky. I drove up before my mom and dad and 
This is what I saw, their house flat. People telling ABC News they've lost track of family members amid the confusion of evacuating. This woman's husband leaving the Red Cross Center in search of a hotel room. His cell phone is dead. I've contacted everybody he knows. Nobody's heard from him. I don't even care about my house right now. I just want to know where my husband is. Now, she did eventually find her husband. He actually had to go an hour and a half away to find a hotel for the family. And unfortunately, we might see a lot more people under evacuation orders because of these erratic winds and extreme temperatures. And firefighters I spoke with who have been on the job for 30 years say they have never seen fire behavior quite like this. And Dan, Diane and Witt, I mean, when you look around these neighborhoods and walk through, it is so clear it's going to take Redding a long time to rebuild.